everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you, and this time I'm going to show you the installation and initial run of Sentinel-1. Sentinel-1 is one of the few antivirus, anti-malware, and anti-exploit AI-based XDR solutions that can also protect you from ransomware attacks as well as reverse the effects if it was to happen to you. Sentinel-1 can't be purchased in stores and needs to be purchased through a managed IT provider such as Twinbytes. We would create an account for you and then send an installation file such as this one that you can easily run. If you're installing it on your own, simply follow the prompts and you're going to be requested to enter in a site token or a group token. That should be provided to you from your managed IT provider. You can simply copy and paste that in there and hit install. You don't need to go into the advanced section, but if you wanted to change the program data path or the user defined identifier string, you could do that in here. Otherwise, it's not necessary. You can leave the defaults and just hit install. The entire installation process took just under a minute and I sped this up to a thousand percent so that you could see the entire install. You can click on finish and then you're going to be prompted to restart the computer to have it fully operational. I am going to select no so that we can have a quick look at this before we dive into it with the reboot. If I look down by the system tray I can see the icon for Sentinel-1 agent. So I'm going to double click on that to open it up and have a look. When it loads up, you'll see that there's some very basic information in here. There isn't any control that you have over doing anything in here at all because it's all managed from the main dashboard of your managed IT provider. You can see some basic information about your system in here, but this is about all the control that you have in here. Everything is fully managed by your IT provider. The first thing I like to do after something like this is open the task manager and see what's going on. Especially because with Sentinel-1 after the installation and reboot, it really looks like nothing's happening. You don't see anything on your screen. There's no pop-ups or alerts. But when we're looking in the list of processes here, you can clearly see Sentinel-1 engine scanner is running. So it's doing a scan, its first initial scan, and it's doing other services in the background, and it's taking up a little bit of resources. So you can see that it is actively doing something. And this is the only way that you would be able to know that something is happening in the background. So if we look down in the system tray, we see the icon with a red dot on it, which indicates that it found an infection of some sort. So we double click to open it and we can see the details here of the infection of what it found and if it's been resolved or not. And this is something that would be resolved based on your policy, how it's set up. And you can ask your managed IT provider to make any adjustments to that if you would like because you really don't have any control over it on your side as you can see here. So when the threats are resolved you'll see that the icon by your system tray is white without any red dot on it at all and when you open the application it should be green text and a green shield rather than the red which we had earlier. You'll be able to see the history of infections that you had here but that's about it for your control over here. This is just to give you an overview of the status of your protection. If you really do want to force a full scan of your hard drive, you could simply right click on your C drive or any other drive for that matter and click on scan for threats. So that's it for this tech tutorial. I hope you did find it helpful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Even better, give it a super thanks. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.